Hey guys, Ian here. I'm going to show you some uh, interesting stuff. You know, I hang out, this is where my camp is. See those trees up there? I've counted them. The taller ones. You know, I've counted them a number of times where I just jump into them and I start with that one, say, one, two, three, and I just have been counting to see, not to try to memorize that one and memorize that one and memorize that one, not on that level. I can't necessarily do that, but I can memorize, obviously, certain little patterns, right? Anyway, so what I did was I actually counted all these trees. I've counted, I didn't count them just now, but I've counted them three or four times. And the number that has come, I think the first time that I did it, because sometimes there, it was a little bit thicker and there's two in amongst. So the first time I did it, I counted, okay, there's about 21 trees. And then I think I've counted a couple of more times and there's about an average of 23 that really stuck out. So it's just something that I do, whether there's 23 standing or actually now you can see maybe more and I would include more as an individual tree instead of you know, two so close together, it looked like one before. But what they're doing is they're actually thinning out that stuff. Like that, that stuff on the evergreens does get thinned out. And people need to start realizing that. We don't uh, really understand those trees to be... Um, um, they're not like a leaf tree where they need to shed all their stuff every year, obviously. There's stuff that gets shedded, and it is going to be for different reasons, and I don't know if our science even gives an excuse for it, but I have excuses of these guys actually going through them and plucking them away and encouraging the growth. You'll see at the end of in the new season here in the springtime, these trees are not, especially like that one in the middle of there, you know, different trees. So major ingrowth you might be noticing. Like inside, there's a lot of growth in there. They're getting, a, they'll eventually get rid of all this and just have a new set of branches all shooting out from there. So, however you get that. And another thing I want to show you here is, see this cracking right here? It's just new. Some new cracking going on. Whoops. <laughs> Guess I should tighten that. And see that little one right there? You can maybe see that I've shifted it. I actually pulled that out, just or popped my finger on it. Let's see if it would actually come out. And it did. So I'm going to show you what you get to see here. You actually get to see. I'll move that. You actually get to see the depth of a claw last scribe this stuff. So this is the only one I pulled out and I could see that edge. Let's see if we get to see it on this side at all and hopefully you guys are picking up. This is the top side. But anyway, so let's look at this edge right there. So this one will pull out. Where are we? Is that the one? Yeah. So see that edge? See it right there? See, it's scratched on there. The only other thing people could say is, Ian, you just did that. See that edge scratching? See if I go, oh, look at that. Hey, see, and this is what they do. Look at the thickness of the asphalt. Like, look what it's becoming. It's becoming nothing in thickness because they're wearing it down. <laughs> look at the thickness of it. Well, look at that. See, and that's not because it's the edge, you guys. We still do, pretty much our roads are two inch thick in that range. You can see if I started to break this more, which I probably shouldn't, but if I do, it doesn't get any thicker. And then you get to see that uh, scribing edge along there. Scribing edge along there. It's real, guys. I'm telling you. It's real. And I need to know that I'm getting to a lot of people. I keep wanting to walk away from you. Guys like David. 
And my daughter, my oldest daughter, just sent me a message. And she, she said, because I kind of laid it on the table there. I said, you know, it's so hard, sweetheart, you know. I've been out here for three years now. And now all of a sudden I have to start getting into this glowing energy, the light energy. And it's like I'm starting all over. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody's biting in to see what's going on or anything like that. And it's freaking hard. And a couple of days later, I got a text back. Words of encouragement claiming she doesn't know anybody like me. That would be so persistent on getting these answers for everybody. And... The sacrifices that I've been going through and that's from a daughter you know she's 22 years old she's not saying dad you know cut it out she's not saying dad you know you're making a fool out of yourself you know lots of kids would be doing that if you are making a fool out of yourself and all your information was wrong but my information leads us to back in those mountains there Guess what? I got to see a bit of a light off of that mountain the other night. That's one thing that is happening because they're becoming so relaxed with the light part with me. And I play it a certain way. They're doing a lot more. When I was down at our public library the, yesterday, and it became dark. Way in the back ravine of the public library, they... Uh, they were doing some light things. And next thing you know, they got up to four or five lights. Last night, now that we're on the subject, over in that area there, you see that airplane going right now? Over in that area, I got to see like three, four lights right in this real close range there. You can see the plane from here. I get to have ideas of real planes flying past there. And now I think I'm starting to get the them playing around with lights. So last night, with that happening up in there, there was about there was at one point five sets of lights going through there. Never happens. And one of them might have been legit. So, yeah, it's just stuff that I'm telling you guys, and I'm trying to get you to listen and trying to get you to realize that it ain't a game. You know, tomorrow is supposed to be my YouTube pay. And I have a feeling I won't be breaking my $100. So I don't even have a $100 budget this month to spend on us. So, and in all reality, I make so little from my um, pensions. I'm pretty much going dead every month too. Just doing the little that I do. You may have noticed that I've cut way back on my my videos for you and stuff because you guys got to catch up. You got to start realizing there's a lot of stuff to learn from my past stuff. There's no sense getting you so much into the deep of this when nobody's walking with me in the mental sense or anything. So if David, David's making huge plans, his plans will go however his plans go, but he is making plans. He's making plans to continue in this field based off of what he's learning off of my channel and my channel alone. He's given up on all other channels because he sees tons of value in the channel, sees tons of answers, and he wants more answers. And so he's even talking about moving plans eventually, moving closer to the area of I live. He's an American. And so he can come across the border and hook up with me anytime he likes and you know just get that camaraderie of okay this is what you're doing this is what I'm doing do you see this do I see that you know different things so yeah bring the team together you guys if you're want to make a team in your area I will help you I will help you